I'll show you! Sonic Frontier's new speed run! What's up, gang? It's been a, been a minute. Sonic's been a minute. A lot of stuff dropped that I hadn't got to go over, so I'm gonna just run through that now. Uh, we got the overview trailer. Anybody else want to eat a Chaos Emerald? Like, I feel like those would be really good, chilled, you know, slight bit of cold, cyberspace, the levels that we've seen before, a little bit of Sky Sanctuary, that's cool. The new stage looks really dope, I'm really excited to see what elements they take and combine into that. Um, that's some footage of the overworld, new places, Cocos, I'm excited. I'm excited to gather them in the inevitable Coco Garden. Because he said there wasn't a Chow Garden, didn't say anything about the Cocos. Amy's on the blockchain. Ares Island, that's the Desert Island's name. We don't really, well now we've seen a lot of it because of the Twitter clips, but it just looks so good, man. I'm really just excited to like get in here and like discover the whole world and do everything ever. But combat, more platforming. It is like, this is the trailer that I think everybody was waiting on. Like, because it showcases, like, some of the high-speed portions of the game. You get, like, a really good look at the open world and everything. Um, you do, you do kind of see, like, some of the puzzles in here a little bit, too. Because I know there were people that were worried about the variety of puzzles and shit. I mean, like, it's an open-world game, so you have to have at least five, I would think. But, you know, they all kind of... Very in length and difficulty and stuff. Opened up a new path. That's cool. I still want to eat a chaos. I'm really thinking about it now. Like just putting the blue one in the freezer. New bosses. Titans. Excitement. The same clip of Sky Sanctuary that we just saw. Weird, weird choice there. Look at it. Tell me that you wouldn't put that in the fridge and chew on it right now. Sonic's Showing off some boss upgrade. battle stuff. The combat looks really hype. They also fixed that animation. That's dope. Step on them. Drawing more loops. Just, I'm, I'm so ready for like Shonen protagonist Sonic, man. This, this shit is, all of this shit is exciting to me. This is really cool. Another finisher too, a little double double footed backflip kick that he does. That same boss fight we saw in the first combat trailer. Roundhouse, new boss. Psyloop. That's what that's that's the actual name of it then is Psyloop. I mean I'm with it. Makes sense. I just want to see what else it can do. Like if you can upgrade it to like do different things or if it's like a selectable attribute. We got a persona cut in. Yo. Stay tuned for more details. I'm hype. It's it's pre-ordered. It's already pre-ordered. Might double dip getting on Steam too, but we'll see. Shoutouts to the YouTube channel Beats for these compilations, but he or they or she, I don't know, did all of these uh, cyberspace stages and just compiled all the footage. So you actually do get to see quite a bit of the three levels that were shown off. I'm going to just do a quick cut of them, just like maybe a couple of seconds of each one. Like we got Green Hill now. Person playing is probably new. Cause they aren't really boosting they're just kind of exploring the stage um it doesn't look you know terribly terribly bad I mean, it's green hill like i don't i don't have the overreaction to green hill that like a lot of other people did but you know i i mean it looks good it looks solid up next is a uh, sky sanctuary i like this intro where like you just show up and it's all glitchy and then it comes into focus that's really dope I think it fits with the aesthetic. You missed the orange rings, brother. No. Like it doesn't it doesn't look like, you know, an exact recreation of um Generations Sky Sanctuary. I mean obviously the aesthetic is gonna be kinda similar because it is like more or less the same stage. But whoever whoever was playing uh tweeted out that like the music was different. So that'll probably do a lot in terms of making it feel less samey. Plus, I mean, there are elements like a lot of the stages seem to be an amalgamation of stages because like there were bits of um, 
Windmill Isle in Green Hill Zone. Somebody also said that there was um, like a section that was kind of like Seaside Hill. Um, but I, I'm pretty sure that's going to carry out throughout the game. So I, I'm looking forward to that shit, honestly. And then we have this one. Everybody's favorite is the city stage so far. And I'm kind of curious to see what levels they're going to incorporate into those. Pretty sure we're going to get a bit of uh, either City Escape and or Radical Highway. Maybe some Skyscraper Scamper from Unleashed. That's bars. Alliteration. Like, I just, like, it's one thing or a couple of stage, stage themes that Sonic Team does really well. And that's City and Ocean. Like whenever, whenever there is a large body of water involved or a large city involved, Sonic Team always fucking nails it. Not to say the other stages are bad, but those are the two aesthetics that they do the most. Like with this, like it's, you know, it's not fully 3D, at least from what we see. We know there's a 3D part in it, but I do like that they are kind of keeping the balance between 2D and 3D sections. Because I know a lot of people were saying they didn't want it to be like super linear like uh, Forces was. <laughs> and and it doesn't seem to be that way. I haven't played it, so I can't say for sure. But just based off the footage we've seen, looking really good, man. Looking really fucking good. special with Frontiers, bro. This is the Sega that I've wanted for so long. They got their confidence back. They're making the game they want. The themes of Banger. Everything is lining up for this to like actually be the GOAT. I just need them to stick the landing and we could easily have the new best Sonic game ever. Pre-ordered Deluxe Steelbook Double Dipping Steam PS5. We outside. 